My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the all-time Chicago Bears team. As you guys can see, definitely looks very, very good and I want to give a big shout out to Bag69Juice over on Twitter. The link to his Twitter in the description. Big shout out to you. Thank you very much for allowing me to use your Chicago Bears team. It is a 95 overall team and as you guys can see, we have Mitchell Trubisky at the quarterback position. He's actually looking pretty good. 90 speed, 99 throw power. Man, you know, 86 medium, 86 deep is what it is with the 91 shorts. Honestly, probably will not be passing the ball that much. Take a look at these running backs. 96 Tariq Cohen, 98 Jordan Howard, and 99 Walter Payton, which this man has got 99 speed, excel, agility, elusiveness, break tackle, 94 trucking, yeah, that card is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Also, wide receivers, we have Alshon Jeffrey. We have Taylor Gabriel and Allen Robinson. Not the best wide receivers, I'll say that. But they can run block. So I'll probably be running quite a bit with Walter Payton. Offensive line is actually pretty solid as well. 99 Cody White here, of course. We do have Greg Olson at tight end. And also Trey Burton backing him up. Defensively, though, this looks... This looks really, really good on that even side of things. So obviously, we have Roquan Smith, Danny Trevathan, and then Brian Erlacher and... Yeah, that is the longest, most confusing last name I've seen on a player. Just for just for the giggles, I'm going to say it. Lyag Booniwi? Don't quote me on that. Aaron Lynch at backup. And we also have Julius Peppers at left outside linebacker. Leonard Floyd at right outside linebacker. Mario Addison, Allen Page, Eddie Goldman, Khalil Mack. This D-line is literally insane. Uh, we also have Eddie Jackson and Haha Clinton Dix. Adrian Amos. And you guys can see the cornerbacks as well. Kyle Fuller, Sherrick, uh, we have Bryce Callahan, Prince, and Gravon LeBlanc. This team looks absolutely insane. With that being said, though, let's get into it. So this is my opponent, see me as Roquan Smith, Ryan Chazier, and Calvin Johnson. My top three looks pretty good. So first play of the game, my opponent looks like he's actually sending a blitz. So I'm going to try to go deep to Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon! Oh, he can't come down with it. I promise you guys, I was going right back to Alshon Jeffrey. I saw him. I just could not get the ball off in time. And we're going to try to go right back to him. Alshon Jeffrey, once again, I think he's got him beat. We got to try it. Alshon, please. Dang it. Again, that animation, man. My opponent keeps getting so lucky with that animation. Now in fourth and 19, I think he's going back to the same exact blitz here. Let's see if we can't beat him. Alshon Jeffrey, someone. Ah, uh, you got to be kidding me, man. I honestly think this might be the best defense that I will use in all these theme teams that I'm doing. I honestly feel like the Bears defense is probably going to be the best one. This defense looks absolutely insane. Like, if this was my regular ultimate team defense, I would be extremely happy as he tries to run it. And there we go, stuffing him. We just got to do better on offense. That's all we've got to do. But I have to say, I, I'm feeling pretty confident in this defense. Be able to get one stop. I'm going to put up a quarterback spy as well. Oh, man, he actually is running the ball. Good tackle, Trevathan again. My opponent is actually going for it here on fourth and goal. He must have like a high point fade in mind or something. So I'm going to look out and watch the back of the end zone here. I'm expecting to put someone on like a curl route or something and just try to chuck it up to him. That's not going to be open. He did chuck it up, but Prince comes up with the interception and we've got the ball back. There we go. We get the interception first and 10. Let's see who's going to be open. Greg Olson, good catch. I'm going to try to find either Greg Olson here or someone else down the field as it looks like Greg is not going to be open. Why'd I throw that right to him? He's got the ball at the 27 after we were not able to do anything there on offense once again. We really have to be able to make something happen here. He's probably going to have a corner round open. Give me that back. Roquan Smith with the interception. And we're going to return this all the way back to the 30. There we go. Defense stepping up once again, making another play. I'm going to try running the ball here. I know he's blitzing, but I feel like we could probably still run against it just because of how good an offensive line we have. Walter Payton to the outside can't pick up anything. He's literally not doing anything fancy. He's just sending a straight up blitz here, and I just can't seem to figure out how to go up against this, which is just ridiculous. As you can see here, he's just getting in so quickly, I can't do anything about it. Fourth and 24, someone just please get open here. I'm going to try and toss up. I think we have right bumper open. What the heck kind of throw was that, Mitch? 
Man, that's just been some really, really poor offensive play in this first quarter. We got to get it going in the second half, or the second quarter anyways. My opponent just keeps in that same blitz, and I try to pass it short, but like he's getting in so quick, I still can't throw it short. Luckily, this Bears defense is just an absolute tank. Yeah, I don't know what he's got going with his defense, like the chem boost and everything, but all these guys out here are just bawling out. Second and eight, and I don't see anything open. Goes to the back of the end zone. That probably should have been picked. We just got to slowly pick our way down the field as we get back on offense here. As that's going to be complete, he's probably going to take a field goal. Okay, so once again, he's at the 28-yard line. You guys do not even want to know what I did. It was honestly embarrassing. I'm playing absolutely terrible as he's down to the five. I will say this, it is uh, currently 1 a.m. when I'm recording this, so I'm a little bit tired, but geez, I am playing, <laughs> I'm playing so bad. Hopefully the Bears defense can bail me out one more time, and then I can just do something finally on offense, because man, we got an entire quarter, and I haven't done anything. He chucks it to the back of the end zone, and I get the user pick with Danny Trevathan. All right, can we do something out here on offense? That would be absolutely amazing if we could. I'm going to try just like a play action play and just send everybody deep as you might have Alshon Jeffrey put it out there. Alshon Jeffrey down to the 30. Finally, Mitch was able to get the ball out of his hands and get it down the field. Let's see if Allen Robinson actually might be open on this crosser. Uh, no, actually, yes, I think he might be open. Couldn't get the ball there. Okay, so I'm blocking seven people. Can <laughs> someone... Please just block this man so I have enough time to make a good read. As I think once again, Alshon Jeffrey might have beat him. What a catch from Alshon. Incredible catch from Alshon Jeffrey. And we badly needed that. Finally got some points up on the board. Now let's see if we can come out here and absolutely stuff this guy on the defense side of things. Got to watch Calvin Johnson over the middle. I know he's going back to some crossing routes. Roquan Smith with another interception. And this one is going to be for a pick six. This Bears defense is just absolutely scary. I mean, the two user cards are pretty good. Trevathan, of course, has like all those boosts, so he's a little bit quicker than his normal cards would be. And then, of course, the defensive line seems to be getting a little bit of pressure. I haven't really been paying too much attention to them, but I think they're doing their job pretty decent. And he's going over the middle, and that's going to be complete. I'm going to try not to send any blitzes this game because I just want to see how this D-line can do. I mean, you got Julius Peppers, Khalil Mack, Allen Page, and Mario Addison is crap and got stuck on Khalil Mack. And tch, Roquan Smith jumped a route. Probably should have been another pick six there for Roquan Smith. But unfortunately, he just dropped it. Is what it is. Third and ten. I imagine he's going to go deep here to Calvin Johnson or Randy Moss. Those are the two guys I want to look out for the most. Back on the crossing route. And wow. Whoa. That is one heck of an overthrow. That is quite possibly the worst overthrow I've seen in a very, very long time. As Wall Japan's running to the outside. Oh, I should have cut outside more. We've had like zero luck trying to run the ball here at Walter Payton just because my opponent keeps sending the same blitz and it's just doing a really good job of stopping the run. But we're going to try to pass it here on third and 14. And you know what? X should be able to catch. Wow. Yep, that was a very good ball. Any Bears fans using an all-time Bears team, I really hope you guys get an upgrade of Trubisky because, my God, I could not play with this man. B should be able to catch that. That was a great throw there, though. Nice little dot over my opponent's user card. I got to block Walter Payton like literally every single play or we'd have about negative two seconds in the pocket here. Someone gets open. Greg Olson didn't get the first, though. When I say this guy has literally, guys, not one single time this game selected a different defensive play. He literally has not selected a different play on defense this entire game. Walter Payton finally breaking some tackles, hitting the spin move, and turning up the sideline. That's a great touchdown. And it looks like that is going to be the end of the gameplay. I gotta say, Bears team, that's that's pretty dang impressive. Now, I'm not too sure exactly how much this Bears team costs or however, you know, the stats went in that game. But I gotta say, defensively speaking, I mean, like, is there a better team? Once again, shout out to Bag Juice for letting me use his team. But I mean, just taking a look at the team, honestly, this has potential to be the best theme team if... The offense gets two upgrades. One, you need a better quarterback because Mitch in that game was not very good. I mean, I made some bad reads, but he made some very bad throws. And defensively, I think you need another good receiver besides Alshon, who definitely balled out in that game. Defensively, though, I mean, literally, guys, let me know down below. Is there a better defensive team? 
I really don't think there is. The way that I run my package is I have Roquan Smith and Danny Trevathan out there, Julius Peppers, Addison, Page, and Khalil Mack as the defensive line. So Leonard Floyd being there doesn't really matter. But then cornerbacks-wise, the setup I had was Kyle Fuller, Prince, Adrian Amos, Eddie Jackson, and Ha-Ha Clint Dix. That team is literally absolutely insane but i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did smack the like button subscribe and comment let me know down below what other teams do you guys want to see and of course yes i will be trying to do like literally every single team for this series it's just a matter of me knocking them out one by one so i will eventually get to your team but whoever gets like the most like comment down below i'll try to get them done and i have a couple other videos that i will be pre-recording over the next couple of days because of course if you guys already know i did of course close on my house so Gonna be moving around quite a bit of stuff, but I'm gonna try to get as many videos out to you guys as I possibly can. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.